Hi friends, it's Monica and let's talk about my favorite adult fantasy books. Looking back on my previous videos, I've noticed that I have not made any favorite genre book videos, so I'm here to rectify that today, starting with adult fantasy books. I would say I have not actually read a lot or a wide range of adult fantasy books yet, but I hope to change that and continue to explore that genre. For the books on this list, I included mainly completed series that I have read, although one is an exception because the books in that series are still releasing. Also, the books on this list are in no particular order, so let's just get to the first one, which is The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson. I had to include this one in this video because it really is one of my top adult fantasy books I have read. This is book one in the Stormlight Archive series, and I have read books two and three, which are Words of Radiance and Oathbringer, and I am planning on getting to Rhythm of War later on this year. So I'm looking forward to that. This series is set on the world of Roshar, where the landscape is brutal with its wars, weather, and politics. There's an ancient order known as the Night Radiant that fell, and all that remains of them are their mysterious shard blades and shard plates, giving men a new way to wage their wars. Going into the Way of Kings, it is a very consumable adult fantasy book, although it clocks in at around a thousand pages per book. I thought it was very easy to get a grasp on the magical system as well as really get invested into the characters' journeys. We do have multiple points of views in this world and we have our beloved characters. We have Kalin, Shallan, Dalinar, Adolin, and so many more that we meet along the way. I did love how each character has such deep and rich journeys throughout the book series. With Kaladin, he learns to fight off his depression as well as overcome mental hurdles from becoming a slave from a soldier and also fighting to protect others. Then we have Shalon, who is a talented artist and she is exploring her newfound freedom with being a war to the king's sister, Yasna, but a secret will turn her into a thief. Then we have Dalinar, who is a high prince, who has been experiencing visions about a long lost history. He's also a warlord and grapples with his morals all the time. With the Stormlight Archive, I would say this world building is so intricate, with such a deep history of its magic, and you will fall in love with all the characters, and maybe even root for the villains at times. But I really, really do recommend this series. And it really does place into my top favorite adult fantasy books. The next series on this list is The Rayera Revelations by Michael J. Sullivan. And I read the collection bind up for this series. So book one would be Theft of Swords, book two is Rise of Empire, and book three is Heir of Novron. A quick thing, I did read these books quite a while ago, back in 2016, nearly seven years ago by now. So my memory might be a little bit foggy on the exact plot details, but I remember I had such a blast reading through all of these books. And I am planning on doing a massive reread and also to tackle the prequel series, the Raira Chronicles, which I have not read. This series mainly made this list because it was one of my first ventures into adult fantasy and epic fantasy books, so it really does remain in a really special place in my heart. <laughs> In this series, we're following a skilled thief, Royce Melbourne, with his mercenary partner, Hadrian Blackwater. To make their living, they take contracts from nobles until one job goes awry and Hadrian and Royce find themselves framed for murder for the king. And what are these two going to do about that? While reading this series, I remember the adventurous feeling being a quite strong point throughout the entire series and also with Royce and Hadrian I remember their dynamic was very very fun to read about they have great banter with each other they're very witty and it really gives you that bromance type of vibe also we see how the worlds of different species collide of men elves and dwarves and with that we have very intricate politics religious tensions magical mayhem ancient secrets being revealed, and a lot of adventures. I would describe this series being quite typical in the epic fantasy genre with all those qualities I just mentioned, but I really do think the Rayer Revelations is a good beginner 
type of fantasy series if you are new to this genre. Really, I did enjoy this series so much, so this is in my favorites list. My next favorite is The Greenbone Saga by Fonda Leedy. This urban fantasy trilogy is so explosive with family, politics, and war. And I did read all three books in this series. So book one is Jade City, book two is Jade War, and then book three is Jade Legacy. In this series, we are following two crime syndicate families on the island of Get Khan. We mainly follow the Cole family clan and they have green bones among their ranks who are supernaturally gifted warriors powered by Jade. But the Kauls and their rivals are at odds with each other and that means a clan war is on the horizon. I absolutely love the blending of the technology with the guns and cars and also swords with the magical edge that the Jade brought to all the fights that we see in this book. To learn about the intricate workings of the clan was very interesting because there's a certain hierarchy within each clan and they have certain titles. It was also nice to see the balance between the business side of the clan versus the client side of the clan. Within the Cole family, there are sibling rivalries, but they love each other nonetheless. We have Lan, who is the eldest brother and the leader of the Cole clan. He tries his best to be more confident in making difficult decisions. Then we have the middle sibling, Hilo. He is the horn who is responsible for the crime side of the clan. So with Hilo, he's quite young, ambitious, and hot-headed. But he really does command respect from his subordinates. And the youngest sibling is Shay, and she's the only female. But I really like how she represents and she goes against the traditional aspects of Rainbones. It's really nice to see Shay defy all the men in the clan as well, so it's really fun to read that. Overall, the Rainbow Saga does take you on an intense journey exploring what loyalty means and what power can cause people to do. Finally, we have the Shades of Magic series by V.E. Schwab. I do have the first book here, which is A Darker Shade of Magic, and I just recently reread this one. And I do plan on rereading books 2 and 3, which are A Gathering of Shadows and then A Conjuring of Light. There's also the new spin-off series that's releasing this year called Threads of Power and I'm really excited to see what that one brings but back to Shades of Magic. There are four parallel worlds that are connected through the city of London and only special magicians known as Antari can jump between these worlds. Our main character Kel is an Antari from Red London and he is an ambassador for all the Londons. But he also has a side hobby of being a smuggler, which one day results in him running into a pickpocket Lila Bard and she pretty much ropes herself into having Cal drag her along through an adventure throughout all the Londons. Again, I would say Shades of Magic is one of those introductory adult fantasy series that I ended up reading and loving. The writing in this book is very easy to follow, it's very consumable, it's not too too complex but I really like the different cultures and different aspects of the worlds that we are exploring throughout this book. With the characters, they do seem a little bit generic but I do end up loving all of them. We have Kel who has a good head on his shoulders but he also struggles with what he wishes to do versus his love and protecting his brother. Then we have Lila who is witty, fearless, and dreams of going on pirate adventures. And we also have Holland who is another prominent character in this book. He is an Antari from White London. He's quite morally grey. He's a villain character but he's very vicious and entertaining to read about. Although the characters in this book may fall into the generic categories of fantasy characters that you would see, I would say that the villains in this book are quite cruel and bloodthirsty. So it's really nice to see that contrast between our main characters versus the so-called evil characters. I do recommend Shades of Magic of being a quite easy introduction into the world of epic fantasy or adult fantasy books. So I do really highly recommend this one as well. Those were all the books on the small list of my favorites for high fantasy books. I still want to dig into this genre more deeper and discover more favorites. So I do have some books in mind that I wish to continue with 
such as the Wheel of Time series, which I recently just watched the first season on Amazon Prime and I did enjoy it, but I know there's a lot of changes that they did from the books to the TV show, but I'm really curious to pick up the books. This other series, I did read the first book, Blood Song by Anthony Ryan, but I never continued on with the series, but I remember really enjoying book one, so I want to tackle and finish off that series as well. I am a fan of The Name of the Winds, but I didn't include that onto this list because it's not a completed series and I'm honestly just waiting for book 3 to release before even continuing on because I do have like Name of the Wind right here and then Wise Man's Fear, but I don't want to wait 5 years after completing these two and then not remembering all the details and the events. So I'm waiting on Patrick Rothfuss to finish book 3, but who knows when that's going to release. But those are some of the epic fantasy series or high fantasy series that I really want to get more into. Besides that, I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe you can share down below what are your favorite high fantasy or adult fantasy books. I hope you all had a wonderful day and I hope you can also give me a huge thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below and don't forget to ring the notification bell to not miss any future uploads. And I'll see you all in my next one. Bye!